I wonder, because, you know, a report came out today that J.K. Dobbins, he said, you know, mm-hmm. during a press conference, if Lamar was there, Sorry. yeah, if Lamar was there, we win. So I wonder, going forward, you know. I mean, the, I mean you can say that, but just going back to also. Listen, I'm, I'm saying, if I'm Huntley or if you're Huntley, do you feel a certain way? Saying that you may be the quarterback of the future, I do because I mean honestly, only if for you to say that is because it's only one bad play. That's the only reason that they lost is because of that. No, not that, that. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm just saying, if you really think about it, the game was tight up until that point. I mean, if they score, like I said, if they score that touchdown, they go up, or even if they you know get the field goal, they they go up three. So I mean. How the way that defense was playing yesterday, I mean, it ain't no telling that the defense could have pulled out those stops against the Bengals that they would have had the lead. But like I said, they had that unfortunate mishap to where towards Huntley tried to, you know, he be, he tried to be the hero. Let's be honest, he tried to be the hero, and he just lost the ball, and then it's, you know, it just happened to fall, and you know, you the, know the, 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 his lot. Another but these, thing I don't understand: if you got a three hundred pound fullback, why why you don't give him a go? Right. I didn't even know that they turned the they turned the four on the lineman. I didn't ever even know he was a lineman. That's crazy. You on a goal line? Give it to him. If he can't get it, then it's like all right. Right, you got a whole ass fullback that you just turned from the physical lineman to a fullback, but you don't want to get that man the ball on the one yard line. That makes no no it makes no sense to me whatsoever. I, and I I think this goes to though a lot of times coaches overthink things. It's like just go with what got you down to the goal line. Run it, run it. And JK yeah. was having, he was having a game too. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, why not give him a shot? First down, if he don't get it, then you give it to Richard. And then it's like, all right, either you're gonna sprint to that that pylon, or we're gonna try to get Mark Andrews on a flat or something, you know. But you know, when you do that, I always think you run the risk of what happened last night. Did the ball get knocked out your hand and defense takes it back the other way. But I'm looking at Ty, like you look at Tyler Huntley's stats. These are these are pretty much like Lamar's averages: two twenty six for two touchdowns and a pick, and fifty four yards rushing. It's kind of what you get from Lamar every game, anyway. So I don't think yeah. I, I don't think Huntley left anything on the table. I think I still think that the Bengals win this game. I think Tyler Huntley had his best game. And it would have been an average game for Lamar. Now, if Lamar has his best game, maybe they, they yeah, they win this game. But here's my question. Are they really going to win another game and another game? Like, if Lamar comes back, are they going to – is this team This, this right is now, what I'll say, though. This receiving core in going the to make the Super Bowl. No, so there's no, no point in well, Lamar coming back to this. There's no in point in Lamar playoffs, coming back to this one game. There's no point. You, you never know. The, uh, I do uh, know. I'm looking at the no, roster. No, I know this team. Look at what Cincy did last year. He got sacked nine times, and they still won in Tennessee. And look at you his can't, roster. You can't say he has what the players. Happen. He has the players. This team does not have the players. They just don't. But what they got to do with him getting sacked nine times? I'm saying this team, as it's you don't have to sacked. have the players. You just got to win that one day. No, because then you got to win the next one and the next one and the next one. And I'm saying you only got to win once. I ain't got to beat you four times. Only got to beat you once. But to win the Super Bowl, you got to win four games. If you're the Ravens, exactly. You ain't playing that same team team four times. Right, but this team is not winning four games. They're not beating the Bills and the Chiefs and the Cowboys. They're just not doing it. So that being said, why would you bring back Lamar to risk getting him hurt? For one to win one game, when you know he's just going to lose the next one or the next one or the next, at some point he's going to it's going to end. Yeah, at some point it. you can lose, but you just don't know. The ball. Came I know. Out. I know. I'm looking at the roster. I know this team's not winning no Super Bowl this year. Okay, but like, look at yesterday. If that doesn't happen, we don't know. They might have won last night. The way the way Joe Burrow was being sacked, the way that Baltimore's offense could get the ball down the field. You don't know what happens if they score that touchdown and go ahead. Because then, they, their defense because then is Marcus Peters right. and them the don't have to press. I was just about to say, their defense is like that, though. It's just the fact that their offense definitely struggles at points, as we can right. see. But, that's what, but yesterday showed, you know, I mean, let's be honest. The Bengals are not the same team 
because shit, five or six of your offensive linemen is out now. Three of them got hurt last night. One of them, I think, is out for the season. The tackle. So going forward, what can you do? Joe Burrow, if he can't get pass protection, he's not going to be able to get the ball to Jamal. He's just not. And that showed last night. And I think going forward, teams are going to throw another blitzer at him. You know, Roquan had a chance to get him last night. He made a move on him and got the first down. But going forward, when you play a team with an offense like a Buffalo, that can, you know, let's be honest, they ain't got the best corners in Cincinnati. Diggs and Gabe Davis may have a day next week. We don't know. But you can't say, oh, we don't know what can happen. Hell, Buffalo looked bad yesterday. And Miami's quarterback, how many games he done played? Three? So then, so then what do you think about Sammy Watkins' comments saying, like, we all hurt, we all banged up. It's a, ain't, he, ain't no excuse for Lamar to be. He shouldn't Why not? have said it. Because, Why not? All right, I'll put it like this. If if this if you're, no, wait, wait, wait. If you're wait, saying wait, this could have won the if, Super Bowl with Lamar this year, then why would he not drag his ass out there and get it done? Lamar was hurt. He wasn't a hundred percent. That was Sammy Watkins' point: is we're all hurt. We are all literally dragging yeah, ourselves out there on the field. Sammy being hurt is one thing. Lamar being hurt and not being able to be mobile, which is what he's known for, is a different thing. If you have a shot to win a Super Bowl, which is what you're saying, the greats drag themselves out there. They, they just do. They always do. So I, that's why I'm saying I don't think him or the Ravens organization thought they had a shot to win the Super Bowl. That's what my point is. Or else I, they, I, I, think saying, he, I think he himself and them would have put him out there, or at least they would have asked him, and he could have said no. But I'm saying he I don't probably think did tell he, him no. You don't want to pay me because right, honestly, and I don't, I think the they face. were fine with that too. I think they were fine with it because I think they didn't think they had a shot. Or else oh, I, I just can't understand why they wouldn't ask him to be out there. I was about to say, I'm sure they asked him, but I'm sure Lamar, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, I don't think this knee, this knee, I'm sure he does have a knee injury, but I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think he's he would have played anyway just because of the fact that of Lamar's trying to get his money right now. He's not about to go out there and try to risk more injury in, in the first and then, place. And then you know and I told you to sign a dude that just got here two months ago. Okay, but are you playing – now, keep in mind, this guy's not getting not paid, okay? We're not, we're not talking about like he's getting – either he's – he gets this big contract or nothing, right? So he's getting paid a little bit. So are you saying that his main goal isn't to win a Super Bowl? It's to get paid? Is, is that his main goal? His main goal right now is to get paid. He's want, every, every person wants to win a Super Bowl, but at the end of the day, you have to know your worth. So hey, you my thing is, if I'm in my last contract, of which he is in his last contract, if I think it's his rookie season, if I'm not mistaken, he wants to get paid. He's proven to where towards he can get, he's, can get the job done for the Ravens. So at this point in time, yes, I'm focused on my money right now. When I get my money, then we can focus on the Super Bowl. I, I just think that I just think that he did not think that this team had the. I think that's what it is because I I don't believe Lamar is that guy. I believe but that I think Lamar even if you had think a shot that, to win. You still oh, yeah, I think if Lamar really believed he had a shot to win Super Bowl, he would be out there, and that's why I think he didn't go because I don't think he's that guy. I don't think he's like money first and then Super Bowls. I think he's Super Bowls and then, you know, I want all the money along with it. I think he everybody wants to win a Super Bowl, but at the end of the day, bro, I didn't prove myself, so I want my money right now. I mean, fuck all that. You know, I'm trying to win the Super Bowl. Like, if y'all not I trying agree. to pay me my worth, then I, I can go somewhere else and try to win a Super Bowl. But I still think he, if he really believed this team had a shot, he would have been out there. That's a, I, I'm saying that's a, who I, I think Lamar I is. I don't think, I think so, because has, we've seen Look, well, then, y'all, I don't like y'all's version out, of Lamar, then, if that's true. I don't no, like I'm just saying, Lamar. a lot of times, though, yes, you want to <laughs> win, but you also want to be compensated for what you've done. I agree, but you acting like he's getting paid, like, zero dollars. Like, he's if he's making 15 or 40 million, if he, he I, believe, if he's, I believe he is, I think he's going to be out there on that field. That's all. So, I, I that's all I'm saying. I think that they we, he looked at right. this team and said, this team ain't win no Super Bowl. I ain't getting we'll hurt from this. To, I think that's agree what I'm disagree. You're gonna agree to this. Well, I hope y'all are wrong about Lamar because if so, I'm I mean, I but you can't that. really say he's a bad person if he is thinking like that because he's already proven himself. So, like, I mean, regardless if he if the he's team was a bad good enough person, I'm, but I don't I'm, even want to hear my quarterback ha had a chance to win a Super Bowl and said, nah, I want the money. I don't want to hear that when it comes to my team. 
Like I get because, that, but John, at the end we're not of the talking day, about making forty million or zero. We're talking about him making forty or fifteen. And if he's making fifteen, you still go play. That's all I'm saying. It's fifteen million to play football. Well, you think he's really making fifteen million in his last contract? Or, I mean, last year his rookie contract. I don't. I know think he's he making less than that. And I think that's what the issue is. He, I mean, he wants more money because he's proven it. I mean, I get what you're saying. Yes, if it's a, this, if if the Ravens were a Super Bowl team right now. Lamar should, should be out there. But, I mean, me personally, even if I was on the Super Bowl team right now and, and I'm in my last contract year, I don't want to risk that injury either, though, at the same time because it's like I want to get paid first and then I'm going to go out there and continue on showing myself. I mean, that's just me. I'm sorry. I got I to gotta protect the asset. I'm the asset. Hey, well, but, you know how, you know how we solve all this? When John is done for his contract, we want you to still do the show. Yeah. <laughs> It, okay, but here's my question: Am I getting paid? No, 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 no! Don't worry about being paid. Just come. If I'm it. still on my rookie, because in theory he did agree to this rookie contract, but I'm just saying, I I wish he would have sat out the regular season. I do. I, I really wish he would have sat out the whole regular season and told. I mean, him technically, to he kind of did, but I mean, he didn't. I wish he, I wish he would. I really do, but right, didn't happen. So when I, I'm just when saying, I, I would rather him play three playoff games than 17 regular season games. That's all I'm saying. All right, we're going to bring somebody else in for you. Pay them a little more, but, John, we still need you to work. Is that okay? But I'm still on my contract. Like you <laughs> but, told me I'm working but, for free? But you're up for a contract. You act like, like, no, you like he's working for free. We're the not, we're not going to pay you what you asked for, but we're going to pay somebody else just to do a little less than what you do. Is that okay? All right, let's move on, man. We've been on this topic for like 20 minutes. I have a shot to win the Super Bowl. Yes, if I have the shot we, to be the we greatest. We have a shot to win an Emmy. No, if I yes, if I have a shot to be win an Emmy and, and then walk out the door and say, you guys, I just won an Emmy. Now I'm going to get my money somewhere else. Yes, I do it. I do it's it 10,000 times good. out of 10,000. But, but, but what if in the process of you trying to make the Super Bowl, you get hurt? Damn what? So that was my point. I wish you hadn't played the regular season. That's all. I wish he would – because here's the thing. This team, I, I wish he had not propped them up to be in this position, right? Because now, like, they can't win Super Bowl and whatever. If, according to Nico, I don't think they can. But, but I, I mean, but then, if okay, say if you do that, do it that way, do you really think he's his body is going to be prepared for the playoffs after not playing in a regular season? Like, that's pretty much what the regular season is there for, to prep yourself to get ready for the playoffs if your team makes the playoffs. So him not playing in the regular season would have been, I feel like, even more d- worse, or I agree. You know, I, I agree with all that. you know, he wouldn't have maybe not been in shape, or maybe he wouldn't have been, you know, too fond of the playbook or something. I'm not saying that he doesn't. Mind I agree with that too. Like I, I, th- I think there was a chance that he was like Tyler Huntley healthy right now is better than me injured, and that is our that is also our best shot to win. I'm saying if the, if if Lamar in his mind really believes that if he were on that field though and he could have won that game and won a Super Bowl according to Nico, then I would have liked to have been, and been out there. But that's just a personal preference. Yeah. I, ain't, I, ain't, I I'm glad he sat. I have no problem with him sitting. I wish he would have sat the regular season too. But 